In this lecture, we are going to discuss the control of arterial pressure by chemoreceptor or chemoreceptor reflex. Just like the baroreceptors, just like the baroreceptors, which we have discussed previously, which are basically uh, stretch receptors, the chemoreceptors are also present in the aorta and at the bifurcation of the carotids. The baroreceptors basically were present in the aortic arch and in the uh, at a, the bifurcation of the carotid arteries, and they were present in the carotid sinus. But chemoreceptors, chemoreceptors are present in at the same uh, level in the aorta and in the bifurcation of the carotid arteries, and they are present in carotid bodies. Carotid bodies are present in the aorta as well as in the bifurcation of the carotid arteries. But there is a one main difference between the baroreceptors and chemoreceptors. Baroreceptors were basically uh, sensitive to stretch. When the arterial pressure was increasing and the blood vessel was stretching, the blood vessel was stretching, these receptors were activating or they were just, uh, they were being stretched due to which they basically sent signal to the brain. But the chemoreceptors, the chemoreceptors, they are basically sensitive to chemicals like oxygen and carbon dioxide and some other substances. And they also help to control the arterial pressure. Baroreceptors also help to control the arterial pressure because uh, when the arterial pressure was increasing, they were stretched, so they were sending signals to the brain and then brain was sending uh, some sort of signals which was trying to decrease or increase the arterial pressure accordingly. But the, art, the chemoreceptors, they basically detect chemicals. That's why they are known as chemoreceptors. And they are specifically sensitive to the level of oxygen and level of carbon dioxide in the blood. These chemoreceptors, just like the baroreceptors, they, they are also being they are also being supplied by some nerves. Rather, the same nerves which take signals from the baroreceptors, the same nerves carry signals from the chemoreceptors and baroreceptor towards the brain. Similarly, these chemoreceptors which are present in the carotid bodies, they are supplied by artery. They are supplied supplied by artery, and that artery that artery basically come to the chemoreceptor so that chemoreceptor is a lab, is a lab, it functions as a lab and it keep on testing the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide the, in the blood coming in that specific artery which is coming to the chemoreceptors at the level of bifurcation of the carotid arteries and in the aorta. Now chemoreceptors detect the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide and if due to some conditions the, the the level of oxygen or the level if the level of oxygen has decreased and if the level of carbon dioxide has, has increased they these chemoreceptors start sending signals to the brain and they mostly help they mostly help to increase the arterial pressure they mostly help to increase the arterial pressure especially when the arterial pressure has decreased below 80 mm of mercury. So, the main difference being that the baroreceptors were sensitive to stretch of the blood vessels and the chemoreceptors are sensitive to some chemicals like oxygen and carbon dioxide. Baroreceptors were activated due to uh, stretch in both the increase in arterial pressure and decrease in arterial pressure. But the chemoreceptors, they mostly function when the arterial pressure falls below 80 mm of mercury. When the arterial pressure falls below 80 mm of mercury, the blood in the artery, the blood in the artery which is supplying this chemoreceptor, which is functioning as a lab, which is testing the levels it detects low level of oxygen and high level of carbon dioxide because of low art because of low arterial pressure and when it detects low arterial pressure it sends signals to the brain 
and then brain tries to increase the arterial pressure the brain tries to increase the arterial pressure by increasing the vasoconstriction and increasing the heart rate so chemoreceptors are also important in regulating the arterial pressure chemoreceptors are also important in regulating the arterial pressure but they are most active when the arterial pressure has fallen below the 80 mm of mercury level so they are mostly uh, basically a uh, low pressure they active they act at low pressure they are not very much important at high pressure because at high pressure the level of oxygen is an normal and the level of carbon dioxide is normal so to summarize this lecture basically we are discussing the importance or the role of the nervous system or the nervous regulation of the circulation that what is the role of nervous system the role of brain the role of spinal cord the brain of the role of uh, nerves in the control of circulation control of heart rate and we have discussed different systems we have discussed the baroreceptor systems and today we are discussing the chemoreceptors and we uh, we discussed that chemoreceptors are special receptors which are present in Uh, carotid bodies in aorta and uh, carotid uh, in aorta and at the uh, bifurcation of carotid uh, arteries and they detect the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood and they are specially supplied with a blood with a blood vessel uh, with an artery which uh, basically bring the uh, blood to the chemoreceptor so that they can test the level of blood uh, they so uh, so that they can test the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide Similarly the chemoreceptors are specially supplied with a nerve which can take signals from the chemoreceptors so when the arterial when the level of oxygen decrease and the level of carbon dioxide increase which normally happens in low arterial pressure these chemoreceptors get activated and they send signals to the brain and then the brain sends six such signals which helps in increasing the arterial pressure and that's very much important to differentiate these chemoreceptors from baroreceptors because baroreceptors are stretch receptors and they are basically activated by stretch of the blood vessel and they get activated uh, in increased arterial pressure and they also act at lower pressure but chemoreceptors are specially a lower pressure system but they also play their role in trying they are trying to maintain the arterial pressure so that's all about the control of arterial pressure by a chemoreceptor or the chemoreceptor reflex system thanks a lot for watching the video